Welcome back to Elden Ring. In this video, we are going to be taking a look at a fantastic armor set. You can get this fairly early on. However, the enemy you are going to be taking down and farming for this set is going to be quite tough. So I'd recommend getting a few levels before you do attempt this. But from the very beginning of the game, from the first steps so as soon as you leave the Cave of Knowledge, make your way north all the way to Gatefront. Then come west all the way up the hill to Stormhill Shack. And just quickly before we get any further into the video, if you're not currently subbed to the channel, make sure you do sub turn notifications on. If you enjoy the video, don't forget to leave a like. All support is greatly appreciated. And if you want to support me further as a creator, then check out the links in the description. And let's get back to it. So from Stormhill Shack, you don't even need to defeat Godric in order to get your hands on this armor set. What we're going to do is jump on our mount and we are going to head all the way up the hill. And we are going to, instead of following it all the way round, we're going to come off onto this dirt path. Follow this all the way to the end of the bridge, which is just coming up in a second. So there we go, there's the bridge. Make your way to the very end of it. As soon as you get to the end, if you drop down here, be careful you don't fall off the edge. Follow this round to the left. And... Up you jump, come round to the right and follow this passage all the way along the outside of the castle until you get to Lake Facing Cliffs. From Lake Facing Cliffs, follow the main path all the way down until you get to this site of grace which is Leonia Lake Shore. When you arrive at Leonia Lake Shore, you're going to head all the way northeast, more to the east because you want to get to the massive cliff wall. So you'll see the cliff up there. Make your way all the way over and keep heading north until you get to a point where you are able to get onto this cliff, like this higher up section. So it's going to be right around here near this ruins. And then what you're going to do is just continue north. And if the stupid wildlife gets out of my way... When you get to this path, you're going to continue north and you'll see a site of grace. This site of grace is called Leonia Highway North. Then what you're going to do is follow this path that comes off to the right. Keep following it all the way along. Until you get to the very end, you're going to come across Artist's Shack. Be careful when you are traversing this path. There's going to be a boss along there, like a mini boss or whatever you want to call it. And there's also going to be like a gigantic crab. There will be other enemies as well, but they're more like grunt sort of enemy types. But you can just ignore all the combat and make your way to Artist Shack. Then from Artist Shack, if you go south down the path, you're going to see the enemy right in front of us. What we are going to do is kill this enemy. As I said, you can do this from the very start, but it's going to be relatively hard to kill him. So I suggest getting some levels. If I use my Sword of Night and Flame, you'll see that I, I can't even kill him in one. I can, however, kill him in two. So what we got is a Dragon Cult Prayer Book. But we are going to obtain all of his armor by farming that one enemy. The good thing is, is not just his armor set. You can get his weapon and his shield as well. So from the shack, all you do, you can jump on your mount to make it even faster to get down there. If you are a low level trying this, I recommend doing it horseback because you can just kind of like lure him around. So you can wait for him to attack, then come back in for another attack. And hope and pray that he doesn't do that sort of stuff. And also lunge in because even at level 103, he still absolutely wrecks me. Managed to kill him. No loot drop though. Fast travel back. We go again. And what I'm going to do is I will see you guys when I have the full set, the weapon and the shield. Well there we go. My very first drop off him and I've got his great shield. It's taken about four or five runs. So even with an arcane stat of 14, his drop rate seems to be quite low. However, I would say this armor from what he's wearing is worth it. Okay, I've managed to get the guy's gauntlets. It's taken about 10 runs so far to get the two drops. The Cadence set, I think I must have 
run about 15 times at the most or something like that to get the entire set. That was weapon and four armor pieces. So far, I've got this guy's gauntlets and his shield in about 10 runs. And sometimes he dodges my attacks. I think that's rather rude. There you go. Another run. Nothing at all. Oh my god. Like another five runs later and I got his armor. Boom. Got his helmet. Let's go. We're getting closer. No way. Back to back drops. Okay, I got a double. Gauntlets and helmet. The only problem is that duplicates the helmet. And that duplicates the gauntlets. <laughs> so double drops are available. However, the only things I've got so far are his golden grey shield, his helmet, his gauntlets, and that's it. I need... Oh, wait, no, I got his chest as well, didn't I? So I've had four drops. I need two more. I need his legs and his weapon. So I need his... Yeah, his sword and his legs... I completely forgot about the armor. I'm, I'm glad I had a look. No, it's his bloody shield. Oh, it's been like another five, six runs or something. That's, that seems to be like the average with this guy's drops. I still need his legs and his main weapon, the sword. Pretty please. Oh, that's back-to-back -back shields. Oh, this guy's starting to do my head in. Yes, come on. Got the great sword. We got it. It was only a couple of runs after the... What is it? The third shield I got? But now, that leaves me with a... Uh, what is it? A one in six chance. Because he can drop his four armor pieces, his weapon, and his shield. So six drops. I've got a one in six chance of getting his legs whenever he drops loot. My chances are slim... I've been at this for like 25 minutes already. I'll probably see you guys in about an hour. Because luck is never on my side. Even boosting arcane and stuff. Look, another run with no drop. I swear to God, this guy best dropped something. He still hasn't. Are you joking? Oh, come on. So, the reason I've added this into the video... In 25 minutes of non-stop farming this guy, roughly, I ended up with a couple of duplicates and five of the six pieces. Now, this isn't about me not getting the right piece. I've not had a single loot drop from this guy for another, and this is all non-stop time. So, 25 minutes for the five, like five of the six pieces, that's the first loot drop. Jesus fucking Christ. And it's the gauntlets again. So, I've got the gauntlets three times now. That is my first loot drop in about 12 minutes of non-stop farming. In 25 minutes, I had five of the six pieces, including a couple of duplicates, then a further 12 minutes with nothing. And then that was actually the first drop I had in about 12 minutes, and it was another duplicate, being the gauntlets. I might actually genuinely be here for a couple of hours. Fingers crossed I'm not. Okay, looks like I might be. See you guys in a little bit. Okay, a couple of runs later, please. I got his sword and his armor. It's a double drop again, but it's his sword and his armor. I need his fucking legs. No, that's my fourth set of gauntlets. Look, I've got four of them. Go on, back to back drops. Give me legs. I swore. <laughs> ah, I got fucking five pairs of them. Oh, I mean, I appreciate it. Doing this farm for the last, like, 40 minutes now, I've obtained, what, three double drops. But I still need those legs. I thought the shield or the sword would have been the most rare, like, the hardest to get. But the legs, just, yeah, he doesn't want to drop them. Oh, my God. Next drop, and I get his helmet. I just... Oh, I need his legs, please. Oh, my God. Holy shit, we've got them. And it was like a run or two after. Oh, I got the entire set. Finally, it took around 42, 43 minutes of non-stop farming. And as I said, my arcane is 14. 
I'm at level 103. I've been using Sword of Night and Flame. And I've had to, like, use my laser beam twice to kill him each time. So, we finally have the set. Now, I'm going to go and showcase it. Down at the Church of Ella, because I'm going to sell all the duplicates. So, looking at this uh, <laughs> set. <laughs> if you look at my equip load on the right-hand side. Yeah, I'm overloaded. This set is really, really heavy. It's a really nice-looking set. Like, don't get me wrong. The Great Sword itself weighs 10. It scales with strength and dexterity. You are required to have 16 strength and 12 dexterity to wield it. His shield is 17. It requires 34 strength to wield this shield. And I mean, for like, it's got 100 physical guarded damage negation, which is nice, but 34 strength and it weighs 17. You've got to have some next level endurance to wield this thing. Then in terms of the set, the helmet is a 5.1. In terms of weight, the armor is 11.8. The gauntlets are 3.9 and the greaves or the legs are 7.3. They do have pretty good physical damage negation stats. I mean, they don't work too bad with the magic side of things either. So, this is what you are going to look like. If I actually skip it, I, I can't even run. It's that heavy, I can't even run. Here we go, you'll be able to see it much better. I've skipped to noon. So, we've got a massive holder for the sword. We've got the gigantic sword. We've got a humongous shield. And then we've got some weird mask with... There's like some symbol on top of it. <laughs> it looks really weird. But it is a really nice looking set. Like you've got the cape at the back and everything. The only problem is the weight of it. And obviously there's a lot of clipping. So it's a nice set to have in the game. However, I obviously can't run it. The sword looks really good. Are there any skills for the sword? Wait, what was that? It's an upward cut stamp. Oh, okay. So you've got your normal light attack. You've got your normal overhead heavy attack. Then if you hold your left trigger in to activate your skill and then right trigger, you do a nice like upward slash. Obviously here my stats are going to come into play, but I want to see what this is like. So if I stamp... And I realistically need him to not guard against the attack. Oh my god! Holy shit! You get ragdoll with this! Go on, dude. Come at me. I'm going to go like this. <laughs> I like this sword. <laughs> this is fun. Oh my god. You could just yeet enemies into the air with it. So this is the Lendow armor set, or the Lendow Knight armor set. And yeah, it might take you a little while to farm for it, but not only does the armor look nice, I mean, it is really heavy, but the sword, that upward slash is fantastic. But on that note, that's going to wrap the video up. Let me know your thoughts and stuff about this set in the comments, and I'll see you in the next one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Yeah.